Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm back with another tutorial on um, how to install and apply a custom theme to your Windows 7. Um, as you can see, I have a custom theme right now. It's called Dark Agility. It's a really cool black theme. And this is going to be one of the themes that will be in the description. I'm going to have three for you. A red one, a blue one, and this black agil Dark Agility one, which is black. Um, first, you're going to want to install... Um, Universal Theme Patcher. Basically, what it does is patches files that you need to patch in your computer that uh, lets your Windows 7 be ready to have a custom theme like mine. Um, the link will be in the description, so you'll just go to that link, install the patcher, unzip it into a folder, and then follow me. Alright, so go into this folder, and there will be two applications. One for 64-bit, it says x64, and one for 32-bit, it says x86. To find out what you have, what your computer is, go to control panel and then once this loads go to system and security and then system and then it'll be right here system type mine's a 32-bit operating system if yours is 64 you go with a 64, if yours is a 32 you go with the 86 so since I'm 32 I'm gonna go with the 86 I'm gonna double click that, choose my language, English, press OK alright uh, it says it needs three needs to patch three files. I've already done it, so it says three files have been patched, and it says zero files need to patch. Um, press yes when it's done. Um, you want to click patch on each three file. Um, mine only says restore because I've already done it. Um, so you're going to patch those three files, and then uh, it'll prompt you to restart your computer. So you're going to have to do that. I'm going to pause for a couple of seconds. So they can get back. Alright, so once you're done patching, you're going to want to install your theme. Um, I'll have three in the description. So install one of those, unzip it into a folder, and then go to your folder. Um, it'll have usually a theme folder. You want to go into the theme folder. It'll have two folders, a file folder and a Windows theme folder. What you're going to do is highlight both of those, right click and copy. And then you're going to go into your Start Computer, Local to C, scroll down to Windows, scroll down to Resources, double click Theme, and then paste those two folders in your Theme folder. Alright, once that's done, um, you're going to want to double click the theme that was on it to apply it to your Windows 7. It'll open up this and it'll say please wait. It'll take a few seconds and then your theme will be applied. Um, I haven't tried the blue one yet, so I'm going to see what it's like. So, oh, there it is. So it's done. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a little slow, but uh, there it is. It's applied. Um, I can't apply the, uh, can't apply the black one, so I'm going to reapply the black one. Um, it's called Dark Agility. Just double click that. Take a few seconds. I'm um, sorry if you heard a guy in the background there. That was my dad talking on the phone. Alright, so now that's done. Alright, now, uh, there's extras in the blue one. I don't know what it is. It's probably, uh, Black Media Player, Desktop jacket, Gadgets, Fonts. You can, uh, just, it's basically, uh, self-explanatory there. You can go into your Windows folder and there will be like a fonts folder and you can just go on and copy the fonts and stuff. Um, here's actually a midnight orb. See, I'm going to show you in the next tutorial how to change your start orb. Mine's changed right now. Um, it's really easy actually. It only takes like two steps. Um, actually, let's do that now. Alright, so I'll put some more links in the description of uh, Windows 7 start button changer and some start orbs that you can download. Um, so what you're going to want to do is install both of those, extract your orbs into a folder so it's like this. All right. Then you're going to go into your Windows 7 start button changer. You might want to run it as administrator as it says to in the file, um, but it's alright. Now you just want to go into select and change start button. Um, navigate to your folder that has the orbs in it, start orbs in it, and then just uh, double click whatever orbs you want. So I'm going to choose these, and then it'll 
go blank a few seconds and then it'll be done and there you go um, as you can see I also have custom icons um, see these folders are purple um, in the next tutorial that actually takes a lot of steps so I'm gonna show you in the next tutorial how to get these custom icons but uh, for now thanks for watching and have fun installing a bunch of themes um, and also if you want to install different themes than the ones I have in the description you can find them all over the internet so just google you know Windows 7 custom themes and install them uh, thanks for watching guys